Welcome to Chapter 16, Special Journals, Emphasizing the Sales Journal and the Cash Receipts Journal. Uh, what I'm going to do is put some notes up here for you, so you are welcome to jot them down into your notebook uh, as well. So just to give you a little introduction, what we're going to start to do now is look at something called Special Journals. And if I would tell you that I can minimize your journalizing by 75% and I could eliminate about 66% of the posting, would you do it? I know I would. Anything that will help me eliminate time uh, that has to do with posting is a great day for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to first talk about the special journals and what they're all about. So there are four special journals. One, and they are, these are in no particular order, is called the sales journal. Another one is called the cash receipts journal. A third one is called Purchases, can't type today, Journal. And the fourth one is called the Cash Payments Journal. So those are the journals that we are looking at. And um, what we're going to do is we are going to emphasize the Sales Journal and the cash receipts journal in this particular chapter. But you're still going to be responsible for knowing what the other two are at least used for. So now when you do a journal entry, before you can decide what's debited and what's credited, one of the things that you're going to have to do is decide which journal do I use. Because the general journal that we used to use all the time is now not going to be used very frequently, but it does still exist. So anything that would not fit into these four journals is going to go into the general journal. So why do we have these special journals? Well, special journals are basically going to be used for similar transactions. Uh, or repetitive transactions. Uh. Okay, well, when all else fails, let's go to the spell check. Uh, repetitive transactions that particular companies use. I guess we should say uses. So let's talk about these four journals a little bit. And you're definitely going to make sure you have this written down. So we're going to talk about the sales journal first. Sales journal is used for all transactions that are sales of merchandise on account. And the important thing here is it has to be on account and it has to be merchandise that you're selling. Okay? So anytime the transaction is um, the sale of merchandise on account, you're going to use your sales journal. Now, the other thing is that can help you sometimes if you're a little confused are the type of source document. So when they give you the source document, if you're not quite sure what journal to put it in, sometimes looking at that will help. So in the sales journal, when you see the source document sales slip, that means you're going to use the sales journal. Okay, cash receipts. That's probably pretty easy for you to figure out. Cash receipts is used whenever a company receives 
cash, period. Doesn't matter what the reason is. If you get cash, it goes in the cash receipts journal. So the type of source document that you would have with that would be uh, typically a receipt or a cash register tape for your cash sales. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is that when you're in the cash receipts journal, the cash account is always, 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 always a debit. Because when you receive cash, it has to be a debit. So if I go back up here, I should have mentioned this, to um, the sales journal, you're going to have the same two accounts all the time for sure. So sales will always be your credit. Accounts receivable is always the debit. And sometimes sales tax payable is another credit. Okay? So that's the sales journal and the cash receipts journal. So we can highlight this and say whenever a company receives cash. Okay, so moving on to the purchases journal. Now, this one you don't need, you're not going to know how to use um, yet, but you do need to know what kind of transactions it's used for. So, it is used for purchase transactions, and we're going to say of any asset. And again, just like the sales journal, it has to be on account. So we will highlight that and say it's for purchases, but they have to be on account. can be for anything, whenever you're purchasing anything. Okay, and then finally, we have whoops, cash payments. And again, you can probably figure out what that is used for. And that is going to be um, whenever your cash account decreases. And the source documents that you would see in the cash payments journal usually are checks um, but can also be your bank statement when the bank tells you we've taken so much money out of your account for some particular reason uh, the bank statement might be your source document in your cash payments the other thing to remember when you're in cash payments is the cash account is always credited. Okay, now I'm going to go back, highlight a few things. So this is when your cash account decreases or when you're paying cash out. And um, the other thing I want to do is I want to go back up here to purchases because I neglected to mention that the source document that you will be looking at for the purchases journal would be your invoice. And the one thing that is given in the purchases journal always is that accounts payable is always, I can't spell always, the credit. And then you would debit whatever it is you're purchasing. So if you're purchasing merchandise, you would debit the account purchases 
if you're purchasing equipment, you would debit the account uh, equipment and you would credit accounts payable. So those are the four journals. The other thing is the good old reliable general journal is still around. So the question then becomes, well, when do we use it? Normally, the general journal is going to be used for all correcting, adjusting, and closing entries. Okay? It's also going to be used for all debit and credit memos. So the, the rule of thumb is if it doesn't fit into one of the other four special journals, then what you're going to do is you're going to throw it into the general journal. So the general journal is sort of the, the last resort journal. Okay? So hopefully that should um, make life a little bit easier for you. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work with the sales journal, and I'm going to show you how to journalize using the sales journal in Excel. So until later, have a great day. Uh, I'm back. I um, am going to leave this up for you for a second. Please keep in mind whenever you're viewing these, you can always hit the pause button if I'm going too quickly and um, you can restart it where you left off. So whatever you'd like to do. So this does have two pages of notes, not very long, but um, there are two pages here. So what you can do when you're done with this one, after you hit pause, uh, I'll scroll down here to the second page, and you can hit pause while you're uh, recording these notes as well. Okay, that's it for now. See you on the flip side.